Hey guys, Zach D. Entrepreneur here. So glad you're tuning in with this. I just want to give you a couple minutes of my time and thank you for giving me a couple minutes of your time. I do not take that lightly. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. We love to give you more information on how to build your business and how to build your dream lifestyle. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please connect with us at Zachary D'Amato. You could also find us at Traveler or at Wealth Traveler. We love to hear what's on your mind and how we can bring value to you in your life. So today I'm going to be talking about form and you might be wondering what is form. Basically form is the only thing that matters when you're trying to connect with somebody. So if you've ever dealt with a situation where you're going to meet somebody, it doesn't matter what occupation you're in or what you're doing. You could be unemployed and you're still going to have to deal with people. You're going to have to deal with somebody on the other side of the counter or you're going to be the cashier or you're going to be uh, working in a sales and marketing company or you're going to be a CEO of a company or you're a coach and health and wellness coach or, or maybe you're a career coach, advisor, HR assistant manager it doesn't matter what you're doing you're gonna have to deal with people so form is what you need to learn and and I got this from a book it's called how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie I recommend everyone pick up this book how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie it's a great book go pick it up now what is form form is the way you're gonna want to clear the awkward tension so sometimes we're meeting a new person and we have a lot of awkward silence and this is gonna get you back on track so you have ways to connect with people now if you're in sales and marketing you're gonna wanna connect with people so you can get people to action to buy your product or service if you're a pastor or a life coach you're gonna wanna get somebody to move into action so they could stop doing the whatever the action is that's a negative habit in their life and they could transform their life uh, with the new option that you're providing if you're if you're a mother or a parent uh, or a father right you're gonna want to move your kids into action uh, so you know they could have a better lifestyle and they don't have to go through mistakes and you could help guide them properly so what is form form is everything you need to learn okay so form is gonna be family occupation recreation and money so when you talk to somebody you want to stick to open-ended questions open-ended questions as much as much as possible it's not gonna be every time but as much as possible and you're gonna be looking for ways to connect with somebody okay you're not gonna be able to connect with everyone on every level right but there's gonna be things uh, circumstances situations that they've done or been through that you've been through as well um, they're gonna have something to relate to so when you start talking about family you ask them so tell me about your family you have siblings how many what are they like like, do you, what do you like best about them? And those are always, always great questions because when you ask them, what do you like best about something or what do you like least about something, you're really going to find what we call is a hot button, a motivator, somebody, something that's going to motivate them to action. So talk about their family, talk about their occupation. Now, when you talk about occupation, never, never, never say job. Always say career. Ask them, how is your career? Do you What do you like about it? Not, do you like your career? No, what do you like best about your career? What do you like least about your career? Now, keep those in mind. Uh, if you're in network marketing, you're going to want to, those are the most important because you're going to want to connect what they like most and then discard what they like least. Uh, and connect it with your organization. Now, if you're talking about recreation, what do you like to do for fun? Um, how do you spend your time when you're not working? Those are great questions. And then when you talk about money, my favorite question is, if money wasn't an option, what would you do with your life? What would your life look like if all your bills were taken care of and money was not a limiting factor in your life? And that's the greatest question of all because money gives you options. Okay, money is not everything, but it ranks up there with oxygen when you do not have it. Just know money's options. Now, when you have money, what are you going to do? Build ministry? Are you going to spend more time with your family and friends? Are you going to take a, a sabbatical? Are you going to take a year traveling the world? What are you going to do? Are you going to get your health in shape or your body in shape and take care of your health? What are you going to do? Contribute to your church more. Those are the factors that are going to motivate people into action. So it doesn't matter what occupation you're in, what you're doing. You're going to deal with people, get to know people, connect with people, and motivate people in the direction that they want to go. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like what you heard, please subscribe below. We want to hear your questions, comments, and concerns. And thank you so much. Till next time.